First, they were teammates, then friends, then one of TV's ultimate couples. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Rachel and Finn moments on Glee. Let's face it, I got, I got high school hero, life zero written all over me. Except for one thing, you. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the best moments from this musical couple. Every move we make seems like no one's letting go. Number 10, Don't Stop Believing. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going in. This is the song that started it all. Though it's technically not the first song they ever sang together, it was their first real performance, even if it was just for themselves. After struggling to really come together as a team, Finn commits to the club and takes charge, leading the Glee Club to the song that would go on to become their anthem. This first performance solidified Finn and Rachel as the united leaders of the club, and set the tone for their relationship. Number 9. When He Let Her Go after their Nationals win, Finn and Rachel are on the way to their wedding. But instead, Finn takes Rachel to the train station to send her to New York. In a heart-wrenching goodbye, Finn refuses to let Rachel put off her future because of him, and tells her she has to go to New York without him while he figures out his own future. You're gonna get on that train, okay? And you're gonna go to New York, and you're gonna be a star without me. That's how much I love you. They agree to trust in each other and the universe and surrender. And if they're meant to end up together, they will. But, but we're just gonna, we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna let go. Okay, and, and let the universe do its thing. And if we're meant to be together, then we're gonna be together. Rachel singing her goodbye to her friends and Finn running alongside the train to see her off is one of the most beautiful moments in Glee history. Number 8. Finn Proposes to Rachel Speaking of Finn and Rachel getting married, was there really any doubt that Rachel would say yes to Finn's proposal? After helping Mr. Shu propose to Ms. Pillsbury in that completely over-the-top glee way we love so much, Finn takes a more understated approach, which is just as magical. I have something to talk to you about, but I want you to promise me that you won't say a word until I'm done. He brings Rachel to the auditorium and proposes to her in the spot where they had their first kiss. You're like a, a beacon of light guiding me through the darkness. You're like this, this big gold star, and for some bizarre reason, you chose to let me love you. The impassioned speech he gives about how everything about his future is uncertain except for Rachel is absolutely swoon-worthy. Rachel Berry, will you marry me? Number 7. The First Time now I'm just a girl, here with a boy that she loves and wanting to remember this moment for the rest of her life. After starring in the New Directions production of West Side Story, Rachel feels closer than ever to her dreams. But after a college recruiter tells Finn his football career is over, he's feeling discouraged about his future. Then we'll figure it out together. You're special. You know how I know that? Because I'm going to give you something that no one else is ever going to get. Rachel tells him he's simply outgrown his dreams, reminding him how special he is, and the two finally make love for the first time. This moment isn't just the payoff of a long-awaited moment between these two characters, but a reminder that no matter what, they always believe in each other. Number 6. First kiss. You know you can kiss me if you want to. I want to. 
Speaking of firsts, first kisses can be pretty awkward. And Rachel and Finn's first kiss is no exception. While working on their singing in the auditorium, Rachel and Finn take a break for a picnic she prepared for them. Finn tells Rachel that her singing touched his heart, and the two kiss for the first time. It was actually pretty magical, until Finn suddenly, uh, needed to think about the mailman and runs off. Did I do something wrong? No, no, uh, I just gotta go. Though they wouldn't actually get together until much later, this moment is an important first step in their relationship, and it was pretty hilarious. Number 5. Faithfully I'm forever yours. Faithfully. New Direction's journey to regionals was a long and rocky one, and Rachel and Finn's personal journey ran parallel to it. Through all the ups and downs, they finally came together and performed a killer journey duet to Faithfully. Seeing the product of what the two of them and the whole Glee Club worked so hard for was amazing. I'm Naturally, the song just so happened to be the perfect representation of what the two were feeling in their personal lives. Even more beautiful than the duet itself is what happened backstage. Just before they go out to perform, Rachel tells Finn to break a leg, and Finn says, I love you. Break a leg. I love you. Number 4. When Finn Helps Rachel With Her Broadway Audition Everyone always knew Rachel Berry was bound for Broadway. But when all of her dreams are suddenly at her fingertips, she has trouble deciding which song to sing to nail her funny girl audition. So she calls on the person who knows her best for help, Finn. You're one of the most unique talents in the world. You always shine your brightest when you do something personal, something intimately important that defines you. So just do something that takes you back to the roots of your passion. The conversation is brief, but even in the short time they spend talking, Finn knows the right thing to say and tells Rachel exactly what she needs to hear. And I know you have it in you. Thank you, that was a perfect advice. Even though they aren't together anymore, they can always count on each other when it matters most. Number 3. The Star as if Finn could top the star necklace that he gave Rachel on Valentine's Day to remind her who she really is when they weren't even together. Because let's face it, Rachel, you're better than everyone in this school. You don't need me or any other guy to anchor you to Lima. You're a real star. And you need to shine. And yet, he does. For Christmas, when they're a couple again, Finn gets Rachel a real star named after himself. It's your own star. You named a star after me? No, I, uh, I thought about that, but then I named it Finn Hudson. Because there's already a star named Rachel Berry. Telling her there's already a star named Rachel Berry, he wants her to know that wherever they end up, there's always a Finn Hudson watching over her. It's a sweet moment between the two of them where Finn proves just how well he knows Rachel. And after Cory Monteith's death, this scene is even more emotional. So I just wanted to make sure that whenever she feels lonely, she can look up in the sky and no matter where I am, she can know that I'm looking down on her. You when it's nighttime. Number two, pretending. Face to face and heart to heart. We're so close yet so far apart. Rachel and Finn's duets have always been supercharged with emotion, but there's something truly special about this original duet written by Finn, which they sing together at New Direction's first trip to nationals. The song is truly powerful and profound. We're with you, Rachel. We didn't know Finn had it in him. They're unable to contain their feelings anymore by the song's end, and Rachel and Finn kiss on stage, shocking the entire audience, Mr. Shu, and their teammates. Even though it lost them nationals, it led to them getting back together and being even stronger for their final year in Glee Club. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. If someone was going to write a song to win regionals, it would be you. You really believe in me that much? More. To stay here and work for Bert, I mean, would that be so bad? No, not if it made you happy. 
But I don't think it would. You're better than that. You may not know it, but I do. Just get her something simple. A wrist corsage. Girls like Quinn, you don't want to do anything that's going to distract from their face, so ask for a gardenia. Number one. When Finn tells Rachel they were endgame. You and I both know how this thing ends. Now, I don't know how or when. You wouldn't expect there to be much love in the air at the reception of a failed wedding, but somehow Finn and Rachel can find romance anywhere. At Will and Emma's wedding, Finn holds nothing back in telling Rachel once and for all how he feels. He plays the old she loves me, she loves me not game with a flower, while telling Rachel that they may be apart now, but no matter where they go in life, or who they're with, it'll be the two of them together in the end. You're my girlfriend. We are endgame. I know that, and you know that. Though Rachel doesn't say anything back, she pulls the last petal of the flower, definitively stating she loves him back. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.